Hey everybody, Adam here again with another Over Drinking It product review. Um, today, I am going... <laughs> can't even believe this is happening. I am going back to the Dr. McGillicuddy well because I outright refuse to believe. Like, they have seven different flavors uh, that I have found. Seven different flavors of Dr. McGillicuddy's products. The butterscotch is the newest one, and I refuse to believe that that's the only good one. Um, after the apple pie fiasco, I have to, I, I choose to believe that one of their original products is good enough to get them to the point that they've made seven different ones. Um, so I'm going back to the original Dr. McGillicuddy's menthol mint, um, liqueur. I'm putting a lot of faith in the Dr. McGillicuddy's brand and in in just sheer retail science, this has to be good, right? Like, how does the brand stick around long enough to make seven different products if they're all bad? So, it, it has to be good. That is how math works. That's how retail math works, people. As a retail professional, I would know. Um, so, I'm really excited about this, trying it. Um, I'm going to try it straight. Unfortunately, I... The idea was given to me by my lovely, beautiful, brilliant wife um, that this is a type of product that should be mixed with something, specifically chocolate. Then you have like a chocolate mint, York peppermint patty situation. Um, but I'm going to try it straight right now if it's good, and it will be because science, damn it. Um, then I'll be able to try it with like hot chocolate or something later. I will report back on that. Yes. We'll circle back around. But for now, Dr. McGillicuddy's Menthol Mint Liqueur. Liqueur. Makes me sound fancy. Instead of saying I drink a bunch of liquor. <laughs> I can smell it from here. It doesn't smell as much like, like the peppermint that you would think. And I guess it's Menthol Mint. It's a menthol. Hmm. That's where we are. We're at menthols. God damn it. I'm just gonna drink this. That is quite good. It's very different. Um, pretty low alcohol content. Um, it's higher than the peppermint, or the, the peppermint. The butterscotch. <laughs> Apparently, it's really strong. Um, it's better. God damn it! I'm losing control here. Um, like I ever had any control over what's happening. Um, fairly low alcohol content. It is higher than the butterscotch. Um, but that is a very different product uh, than a lot of the other liqueurs I've had. A lot of the other um, drinks that I've had. This, it's good. It's. I mean, it's mint. It's that, I mean, you get that menthol mint flavor, um, which is obviously what you want if you bought it. Um, but it's a very odd sensation. Yeah, you get a little bit of like, the, I brush my teeth with alcohol, um, which sounds really bad when you put it that way. Um, but this is actually quite tasty. Um, it's a pretty good product. I do highly, highly recommend checking this out, um, especially if you're a mint fan or just into interesting things. It's the mint is there. It's I mean it's very obviously a mint drink, but it doesn't like overpower you. It's not like clearing out my sinuses. Peppermint just bam kick me in the face. Um, yeah, no, this is good. See, I told you, science. It had to be good had to be and it was so good job dr mcgillicuddy's you have redeemed yourself from that apple pie fiasco um i am gonna actually take the rest of my bottle in and uh combine it with some chocolate i don't know hot chocolate maybe i don't know it's the middle of june so hot chocolate maybe not the best idea but it's a we're gonna give it a shot hell i don't know we'll find out um check this out it's good stuff thank you i will see you all next time